Welcome to this tutorial for Asteroids. This is a quick run through for Asteroids on the Launchpad Pro. Um, it's just been specially updated to work with Launchpad Pro. Many of the features are the same. Uh, but there's been a few changes just to make use of the, the way the Launchpad Pro works. So on track one, we've got Asteroids and a synthesizer. If I just start playback, uh, it works in the same way, so you can use the arrow buttons to choose the initial direction of the, the next asteroid you're going to trigger. So if I choose up, then the asteroid moves up. And if I choose the next one to be down, it'll go down. And when they collide, it makes the it generates a note that's triggering the synthesizer. You can also see a pink note appearing sometimes. That's because I've got the ghost machine tone turned on, which generates additional notes based on the uh, the notes that are being generated by the asteroids colliding. Okay, uh, let's try some more. So left and right. Okay, so. How this works with the Launchpad Pro, it uses the user mode, so if you can still use the session, note mode, device mode, you just switch to user mode and you're, you're using the Asteroids device. Uh, the user mode will change from purple to orange when the device is being used, so if you go to another track, and you can still use your bottom mixer buttons here, you'll see it goes to purple and again it resorts to the default user mode which is... Um, just like that. Let's go back here. So, same functionality of your bottom mixer buttons. The ride buttons work as asteroid deactivators. So every time you trigger a new asteroid like so, one of these buttons will light up and you can just turn them off here. So you can choose which ones you have active or not. Um, let's get a few of these going right. So I've got four going right. Um, if you hold on the shift button, the arrows turn green. And what happens now is you can get a momentary direction shift. So if I press down, all of the asteroids will just go down temporarily. They might change depending on the settings here. So at the moment, they're wanting replay. But if I change the first one to switch to, say, uh, random, it's going to come in from different, well, it could come in from different angles. Um, from the launch pad, we can also change the rate here as well, make it go faster. Each asteroid can run at its own independent rate and can have its own independent mode. So we have things like classic mode where it will go kind of across like so. Um, there's yet more random modes, a spiral mode where it will go round into the center. If you check the manual, it's got a full description of all the different modes that are available. Okay, uh, let's try something with the static mode then. So I'm on track two now. Um, and what I'm going to do with track two is I've got a pad, a synth pad uh, on here. And I'm just going to turn on the static mode down here. And what the static mode does is it lets you insert uh, stationary asteroids that don't move and they're orange. Um, and you can create almost like a sequence grid to work with. So providing this is turned on, you just you can use the click button now on the uh, Launchpad Pro to enter your stationary um, static cells like that. So I'm just going to create a little pattern like this. And then by turning this off, I'm back to using the pads to trigger the asteroids. Uh, I'm, in, I'm going right for the first one, and it's set to classic mode, so it will actually run across here. So let's try this out. still use the device control. This is controlling the filter of the synthesizer that's playing. Okay, let's jump to track three. I have a drum synth loaded on, on here and again I've got some a static grid loaded up. So the first asteroid I'm going to trigger is going to be using C1. So what I've done here is I've changed it from keys to drum mode and drum mode means each asteroid when it collides with another 
here on the grid, it will actually generate the same notes. What was happening before was the, the notes were changing based on where they met on the grid. Uh, so you can get interesting melodies, but for drums you want to keep the same notes, so you, one of the asteroids is always doing the kick, the snare, the hats and so on. So the first one is going to trigger the um, kick drum. So you can still use that to trigger clips. 